it up now. Oh, yeah, no, no. I kind of want to leave it there the whole time so that it provides the sort of the, the, the light in the background. It's all works well. And I'm not going to leave it. Yeah, that's fine. it as an opportunity to tell stories that we want to tell mm -hmm. um, and think and work outside the box you know because I think when you when usually when it's like a very big commercial thing there's always someone putting the strings mm -hmm. so I think we just see it as an opportunity for us to kind of tell the stories that we are gravitating towards <laughs> Protégé is a drama, it's kind of a moral tale that deals with some social issues that are really important in Cape Town especially, but also South Africa as a whole, uh, gender-based violence. And it's kind of a vigilante revenge thriller, but at its core it's about a conversation that is being had about gender-based violence, about the injustice of um, the judicial system, which is kind of an oxymoron. But uh, yeah, it's one of those things where we wanted to tell something that was really important, really poignant, but at the same time, it was also something that is very suspenseful, very real. Um, so yeah, that's how I would classify Project. And what we've done is we've been very um, deliberate about wrapping that up in like a thriller story, um, a thriller slash action slash drama film. So these. You know, it makes it saleable, it makes it um, appealing to audiences in South Africa and around the world. Because that's also important for us. We can have all these conversations about um, what this means and what that means in the story. But at the end of the day, we feel at least that the story has universal appeal. And it's a modern and um, yeah, appealing story for any audiences. So that's how I describe her to you. I was like talking inside and she's like, why do you always do this? I was like, what? Why do you always do this? What? Apparently, I go, oh my god, oh my god! So it can <laughs> so, um, so each year we basically get an itch to, to make a new film. And often the availability of resources or, you know, access to broadcasters and funders is not there for us. We've, we've found that on many occasions. So what we end up doing is we go out there and we make it on our own. And we were really passionate about the story and confident about our ability to tell the story. So we just went out there and we did it. Um, we worked with our producer Nicola Daddy to crowdfund and then also with a bunch of um, our you know, crew members who we crowdsourced to, to work on the film as well. So collaborators we've worked for many years uh, together with. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of how we kicked things off and we were so passionate about the story that we weren't going to let anything stand in our way. So we'll, we did it before, we'll continue to do it. Yeah, if we could, we do a film every weekend. <laughs> it's just one of those things where we, we make films that mean so much and are quite intricate and really good that we spend months making it. But like, we'd shoot every weekend if we could. Yeah. We love filming. To be in this industry, um, and I can just say like, I'm a fan girl, obviously, of these guys, because they just grind, man. They want to do something and they're gonna fucking do it. Like, regardless of the obstacles, you guys are just there. So, cool. yeah. an inspiring team to work with. Also cool, man.